Welcome to Botany Manor, a lovely puzzle game that we are going to explore. This game just looks and sounds so relaxing. So come on, let's go take a let's go take a trip. Eighteen ninety Botany Manor, Somerset. So we're in England. Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated, though I can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much, Bennett. Okay. Arabella Green, Botany Manor, Somerset. We're opening up a parcel. What is it? Forgotten Flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Okay. Mayflower Publishing House, established 1840. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you have completed your research and we'll be in touch with a potential offer. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Okay. Ooh, look at the wisteria. Lovely. Wildflowers, windmill wart, checkered lily, sword lily, daffodil, volcanic meadow, woodland grassland. Oh, important clues get added to the herbarium where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help you organize and validate your research. Cool. Windmill wart. I want to grow the windmill wart to four yeah, to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory, but I'll need to research the temperature requirements first. Okay, so the first one we have is the wildflowers. And I haven't done any others, so let's get out of that. Look at that. So the windmill ward is a volcanic flower. So it lists a whole bunch of countries, Spain, Portugal, France, Greece, Sicily, Morocco, and then varying temperatures. So we'll have to find something. This is really pretty. Seed. We collected a seed. Look, oh, that's so cute. Oh, do I add the clue? Temperature chart, yes. Okay, because I'm still waiting. Potting instructions. Place the pot on the saucer, add soil to the pot, plant a seed, and water. Typical garden variety. So there's the pot. Okay, it's not usually like that. We will collect the seed. And then we'll water it. Well, that was simple. Okay, so we've got our windmill wart. I'm going to carry this around. Oh, I can place it there. Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. Say it isn't so. I can barely see. Horse bus drivers refuse to work in these conditions. The horror. E. Dearest Arabella, on my hike I came across the windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Aha! Some locals told me the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Marianne. Okay. So there's a... Ah, there, oh, that, this, this is a heater, right? So the, the um, Sicily. So volcanic... Sicily, 60 degrees Celsius. So if we do, that's at 20. Whoop, nope, wrong way. So if we do 60, uh, oh, is that it? Open heat vent. Oh, oh, look, it's growing. Oh, that's cute. Oh wow, that, I don't think one plant could do that, but it's a lovely thought. <laughs> but did we miss a clue? The windmill wort naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The bud contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. 
postcard was the third clue. Got it. Okay. Lovely. Look at that wisteria. Holy cow. This is a really pretty game. We're free. We can go out of the conservatory into the open air. I don't think it took the whole of Somerset away. Look at this. Look how pretty this conservatory is. We can sit. Oh, wow. Escape. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at the little sticks. Drawing from nature. Okay. Oh, I can speed. <laughs> if you hit the shift key, you can speed up. Wow. Look at this garden. Oh, a portal. Hello. Look at the little can jump. That must be the main house. Look at this lovely path. These little bricks. I guess this is the front gate. Blossity Manor, home of the Green family. Post box. Ooh, collect a key. Okay. Entrance to the garden. I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. I don't know that I would I would hear that in the main if I was all the way in the back of the house. That would be somebody, some servant or something would have to find it because oh my goodness. If I was in a conservatory, I wouldn't hear that. Ah. Wow. Orchard, really? dogs getting in there, you know? How cute is this? Oh, wow. What a lovely colored game. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm guessing I can't go past there for right now. Okay. Let's run back to the main door. Ooh, another another thingy. But we only have the one seed still. Oh wow, what the hell is that tree doing in the house? Why is there a tree in the house? Two new plants at it? Wait, if there's two new plants at it, they added over here? No. Oh, there's a thingy here. Um Lady Arabella Green, I am pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete. Carefully tracing the history of your lineage, as per your request, I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family rather than their current... current names acquired through merit. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. Robert Hinchley, genealogist. Okay. Okay, where is Arabella? A lot of good fellows, greens, hops good, deal, Pendleton. Oh, I see the rings are as they were married. Got it. Oh, there she is, Arabella Green, right in the middle. So she has a sister. Elizabeth Ann Green and her dad was Augustus Green and her mom is Adelaide Pendleton. Oh, they're passed away. So her parents passed on. Oh. Okay, that's cute. I, I don't understand the tree in the house. That's a little creepy, even for a botanist. Great Western Railway, Taunton to London, Paddington. Issued for a return journey, first class, elderly discount applied. 
Okay. Can I put my cape on? That would be really cool. Collect seeds. Oh, Fulgaria. Ulix Fulgaris. I came across the Fulgaria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. Okay. Whoop. I keep doing that. Look at the seed. What a weird... That must be the tree. That must be the tree in the, in the living room. Okay. So, what do we got here? A blurry photograph. Okay. A black photograph. <laughs> well lit photograph. Oh, that's cute. Um, camera experiment two, 12 5, 18, 90. I'm very pleased with this picture. Looks like we, looks like I'm getting the hang of this camera. So was there something on the back of this one? Ah, this was camera repair. Camera experiment three. Um, 13.5, so May 13th, 1890. This picture is so dark, impossible to see the flowers. I can't believe how quickly I've run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. Camera experiment one, May 10th, 1890. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. The picture looks a little blurry though. I'll have to investigate the camera settings. Got it, okay, so she's been taking pictures. Nothing. Okay, so I just picked up flower bulbs. Now I don't need to sit. Kitchen, huh? Dartmoor, all the year round. Home to the breathtaking sights. Hound Tour, Wisman's Wood, Becky Falls, the Dartmoor line. Okay. Pyrophiles. Fire has the potential to be among the most devastating forces of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent, wield, and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain species in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. In areas where forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learned um, to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Fact about pyrophiles. Their seeds typically possess tough shells. Some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat. Let's see if there's anything else. No? Okay. Okay, so those, both those doors are locked. Let's go back here. We have a planting thing out here. So now I have a second seed. So let's take that. Get that seed. Boink! Water it. But I'm wondering now, so this is a ful fulgaria, right? Where am I supposed to take this thing? Oh, by the fireplace maybe? Is this, I don't think this was the... through here? I can. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is like a whole chemistry place. I can go through here. Oh, wow. Dinner, anyone? Can we look outside? Oh, we can. Oh, I did inspect it. Oh, it's doing that because I'm holding on to it. But can we go in here too? Oh. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to leave this flower. <laughs> there are teacups everywhere in this place. Okay, so I don't think I'm supposed to be in here yet. There's another teacup. <laughs> The art of painting in oil and fresco. We don't need that. That's nothing. Ah, add, oh, titanium, sodium, zinc, barium, phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, and sulfur. So it is a chemistry lab. Chemical disposal. OK. 
Okay. So I guess they're talking some seeds might need, oh, look at the pony, might need nutrients like that. So what is my, when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm, I haven't filled, I don't have any clues on this. Oh, I do. <laughs> Pyrophiles. And that's it. So those are clues for this, so I'm guessing do I have to put it down? Could I put it down here? No? Could I put it down there? That's weird. I can't see that that would be a good place to put it. What's in here? Dearest, my dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all these years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavors. I look forward to hearing about your progress and of course let me know how I can be of assistance on your return. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Okay. I don't need to sit. I want to know what I'm supposed to do with this seed here. So we've got two. Can I close that door? No. No. Um, okay, it's really cute. I like the white duck. There's some wellies. Let's go upstairs. Let me see if we find some clues upstairs. Um, why is that in the house? Where are the servants? Wow, a combination, really? Okay, no, we're not even doing that. Oh, wow, it's a blocked by the tree. Tree, you're gonna have to let me in. I might need to go in there. Okay. Is there anything in here? Huh. Okay. Lots of pretty pictures on the walls, but nothing. So pyrophiles, so. <coughs> Let's go in the kitchen, if we can. Ugh, really? So that's locked. That's locked, I like the hedgehog. That's adorable. Seeds typically possess only bloom when surrounded by smoke auras from their natural habitat. So, Screens passage and the grand photographs in the grand staircase. So photographs um, in the grand staircase. So I've got. I can't even read that. I've got some feathers. I've got a bird, a shell, country, some mushrooms, that looks like a fig, it's another shell, no we can't jump off the side, well then this is a conundrum. So I'm thinking fire has something to do with it, but I'm not sure. Okay, so she's taking pictures. There's nothing there, but what's in here? Sulfur. I don't really want to start 
making a chemical reaction because I'll blow the place up. That, that would not be good. Potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, titanium, zinc, and barium. I don't know enough about chemicals to add that. This is her parents. Yeah, they're passed on. Well, how frustrating. More feathers. A bug. So I'm wondering if this plant, they're talking about the fire, so I'm wondering if this plant is has to be by the fire, but it's not something So I'm wondering where the staff is. There's this old lady wandering around the house all by herself. Okay, so we have two. There's no other fire around here. Just walking around with this little seedling. This is the only place for a fire. But there's nowhere for me to put it down. Unless, was there a fireplace? There's a fireplace in here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Can I put that down here? Actually, can I put it down right here? Let's put that down right there. Some ancient Celtic tribes practiced a coming of age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking flower in the woods, though not just any flower, of course, the gatherer had to find a fulgaria, for this flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you is considered the ultimate test of courage. Okay, so then we've just added a little bit of knowledge. Folklore book. So thunderstorms, so not fire necessarily, but maybe heat. So we didn't peruse this room all the way. Some dishes, lovely plants, and then we didn't peruse anything in this room really. Um, oh, that's the two sisters, Arabella and Elizabeth. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to take a picture. Oh, another key. Yes. Nope, can't add a key, but I've got a oh, key to the back terrace. Lovely. <clears throat> Lady Arabella, the past these past weeks, I have been seeing a lot of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum, Farmer Charles. All right, Farmer Charles, I'm really sorry. Watson's flash powder. Okay, that's just for she's been taking pictures. Your new Lumen photographic flash lamp. Instructions. Fill the container with flash powder. Close the container. Press the button connected to the camera and the Lumen flash lamp. Witness a bright flash. Better results guaranteed. Okay, so... Rotate the glasses, so we've got spectacles, so I can't wear them. Okay, so I need to find some other hints. Not sit. Some other books, maybe. I don't see anything sparkling. Whoops. We could play the harpsichord, are you kidding? so cute. Okay, so we got the key to the back door, the back patio. That's the flash powder. We're not really taking pictures. OK, 
Okay, where did I leave my plant? I love that you can sit on the furniture. That is so cool. Uh, I think I left my plant over here. Let's pick that up. We're going to try one of those other doors now that we have a key. Oop, sorry. So let's see if we get if it was this room. Back terrace, yes. Ah, yay! We got the back terrace. Wow. side in the river. Oh, how pretty. I guess those are the cows that Farmer Brown has been complaining that we're scaring. Sorry, Mr. Brown. Oh, let's put that there. Um, while we go around and inspect. I swear there's tea everywhere. I love a half-eaten sandwich. What? What's going on with the half-eaten sandwich? <laughs> Flowering Plants of Great Britain by Anne Pratt. Okay. Lovely benches. I love the benches. All right, you stay there. We'll be right back. I'm going to go exploring. Oh, there's something glinting. What is it? Oh, it's a seed. An ash plume. Lilium vivificum. This might be a tough nut to. This might be a tough case to crack. Okay. Seed log. A summary of some seeds I've gathered this year in the location I found them at. Cow parsley at Black Hill Downs. Or Black Down Hills. I can't read. Poppy at Cheddar Gorge. Buttercups at Stewart Stewart Marshes. Ash plume at Wisman's Wood. Wood and Enemy at Holford Combe, Wood Time at Colburn, Colbone Wood, and Foxglove at Ford Abbey. And nothing else, okay? So we picked a seed up, so we've got our third seed. I still need information about the second seed, thank you very much. Oh wow, what's this? My dear friend Arabella, a friend of mine visited the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squirrels. Are you kidding? I hope they're not real. They are the latest trend in garden decoration. All of my neighbors have sent for them as well. It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family and my garden is full of the darling little critters. One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some, in my garden for some time. How odd. You must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. Every yours, Grace. Okay, let's not start importing critters. It was bad. It's, it's not good when you import a like that to a different environment. I wonder why you haven't seen the red squirrels because the gray ones probably kicked them out. Right? That's locked from the other side. Ooh, look at this pergola. This is lovely. <gasps> Another key to the kitchen. Yay! Thursday, Hazel Patterson kitchen notes. Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. Lady Arabella, Lady Arabella may not be may not be best pleased with me for asking for a new one. The last one took years to be sorted. She is so scatterbrained, always off on her fancy research trips. Okay now, you might get fired. <laughs> Shopping list, flour, eggs, milk, leeks, potatoes, carrots. Okay, Hazel, we're keeping our eye on you here. Con is scatterbrained. How dare you. How dare you? Okay. So we've got another key. We've got some clues. Ooh, the formal garden. Ooh, pretty. Oh, look at the parasol. Oh, so cute. And there was a white duck in there, a statue. Okay, so we did that. All right, so I'm gonna do that. We get the ash plume. I'm gonna take this with me now because I still need to know about how to how to make this one bloom. I don't understand. Wait, can I go in here? No, it's locked from the other side. Well, biscuit. 
That one's still locked. Oh, the kitchen's open, though. Yes! Ooh, pretty. Oh my gosh, this is lovely. Let's put that right here. Oh, what is this? Blessed is this kitchen by grace and holy light. May all those who enter find comfort and respite. Blessed is the hearth with laughter and with cheer. May the love shared here be held forever dear. To those who serve the Lord, who seek their sanctuary, remember the year of construction. For this, friends, is the key. The year of construction. Gifted by Nicholas Owen. Okay. I'm going to try something. Can I put that there? Yeah, okay. Ooh. What is that? Six ounces, seven ounces, four ounces. What are these? Weights? Oh, they're weights. Oh, I see. Oh. Cool. Mysterious symbol. It's a deer, I mean, a, it's a sheep with a flag with a cross on it. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. What shall we find in the kitchen? Potatoes, oh. Kindling. Dear lady, we received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences, along with your enclosed drawings. We do not at present and have never admitted women to study college at the college. Botany is a serious science conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, continue to pursue your hobby tending, continue to pursue your hobby tending to your garden and domestic space where it may be appreciated. Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilized in a career in botanical experimentation. Therefore, with all politeness, we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken up by genuine academics. Signed, Professor, Professor John Altrinham. Okay. Well, you little snob. My goodness. Oh, there's a broken mortar and pestle. The History of Dartmoor, Society of Historians, Southwest Group, monthly lecture open to all society members. Given by our resident natural history professor, the professor will present how the moors were once covered in majestic forests and woods, how early settlers came into the area and cleared most of the trees for pasture using fire as their method of choice. It promises to be a fascinating story of how the moorland we know and love today came into existence. Next lecture, new members. Okay. And nothing. Oh, wait. Hazel's priceless recipes for the home, farm, workshop, and every department of human endeavor. Roasted chestnuts. This is a simple recipe, perfect to warm those cold nights. You can use any edible chestnuts that are easily forged the main difficulty with chestnuts is they have a tough shell, but luckily they're easy to crack open with the help of fire. Why does that sound familiar? Simply place the nuts in a pan above this fire and wait until you hear a pop. That means your chestnuts are nicely roasted and ready to eat. Well, let's take you over there, little flower. And put you in there. Hope I'm not killing it. Doesn't look like it's growing, does it? I might just burn it up. I'm gonna to have to find another seed, aren't I? No? I know it's not a chestnut, but it said something about fire. <coughs> well, I guess that's not the right spot. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Someone special. Dearest Hazel, 
I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. Warm regards, Mr. Bennett. Ooh, we have a romance with the servants. Lovely. The, the ancient oaks stand tall in Wisman's wood. Covered with moss, they withstand the test of time. Though none can tell the sorrows that did befell those trees in Wisman's wood. Okay. And our neighbor's having a good time. Oh, I can go out here. Oh, neat. Cherry logs, birch logs, maple, and oak. Oh, that's nice that they're all categorized. Each one gives off a different type of flame, I guess. Home smoking and curing. Using the home smokery. The type of wood you use in your smokery is of great importance. Though which one to pick depends entirely on your personal tastes and preferences. Burning wood from different types of trees produces different smoke aromas. This is due to different chemical compositions in each type of smoke. It has a great impact on the flavor of your smoked food. So in summary, choose your wood logs with care. Um, okay, so I'm guessing this is the smokery. Okay, and this is some meat, smoked food, which thankfully I don't need to eat. So they just stick them in here. Okay, we've got lots of saws. I wonder if I put that plant in there. Ooh, a rope and carrots. <coughs> Hello. Hello out there. Is anybody there? So if I take, <coughs> excuse me, if I take use of the fire, it didn't work. Maybe the smoke will work? Or maybe I have the wrong plant entirely. Aha. I can't close the door. Okay, so let's. <clears throat> Don't think it's working. Maybe it's the other one that needs. Because this one's talking about rainstorms or thunder and lightning. So I wonder if. If that's thunder and. If this one's thunder and lightning. Oh, I can't use the water anymore. Hmm. Well, let's go back out. Oh, I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> Went the wrong. Oh, this door. Maybe. Nope, it's locked. There is a bell there, though. Okay. Went the wrong way. Um, I went this way. This is how I went. I'm just leaving all the doors open. So, so I've got the ash plume. I wonder if that's the one that I need to put in the kitchen. Yeah, I think this one might be the one to put into the kitchen in his pan. Oh, oh, maybe, or at least I'm gonna. <gasps> I did it. Crack. Germinate the ash plume seed. Okay. Oh no. So I guess I gotta leave it there. Is this the one I'm supposed to put in the smokehouse? And then it goes down. So I crack the seed, but then if I put it in here, okay, it likes that. But I'm not seeing anything. How long am I supposed to wait? <laughs> okay. So it liked the fire. I can't put it down there. And it 
withdraws if I don't, if I take it off the fire. So I guess we just leave it there. So then what do I need to do with the other one? Is there anything up that I've missed? Got the pestle and mortar, the kindle. Oh, I need to put the, do I need to put the wood in the um, birch maple? Let's try a maple leaf. Oh my god, where'd the plant go? Oh, I took it away. <gasps> I'm an idiot. Right. I totally forgot that I put it back there. I was like, oh my god, where'd it go? It's gone. <gasps> no. Okay, you stay there. I'm going to get a couple more logs. We'll try maple. I guess we can only do one at a time. It's interesting, the wood just, it shows you yeah, the wood burns up. Okay, so birch, oak, let's try cherry. I'm trying to think, this one was the one that was in the forest. Mm, nope, not that one, so we tried we tried maple and cherry. Let's try birch. Would be my next assumption. Can't walk through the door. How do you like birch? Because the next one's oak. Oak might be the one. I just gotta test all of them. Okay. So let's try oak. Maybe oak is the winner. If this doesn't work, then I don't know, because I can't put more than one in there. <gasps> that was it. It was out. Oh, okay. Look at that. We got the ash plume. Might be a tough case to crack. The ash plume is a pyrophile evolved to survive harsh... The, the ash plume is a pyrophile evolved to survive harsh forest fires. It seeds crack open with extreme heat and afterwards the oak smote from its habitat indicates it's safe to bloom. So we have a letter from the farmer, flash powder bottle, flash lamp material, we have the seed log, the smoking box, the poem, and the cooking book. Okay, so now I'm not sure where I'm supposed to put this thing. Close that because we don't want the hazel to get mad at us. Oh, I guess I should close this door too. Yeah, don't let all the bugs in the house. Okay, so we've got two out of three. I wish I could put it up. Oh, I can. I can put that up there. Cool. So we're still working on that one. And that one, I forgot where I put it now. I think it's out back. That one, I just haven't been out back. It's this way. I'm not confused about where I'm supposed to be. Honest. Okay, yes. I just left this one here, the Fulgaria. So let's do this. Okay, so no. Oh, the Dartmoor lecture. <clears throat> okay, so we and I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. An interesting burn. Yeah, so photographs, dark moon lecture in the kitchen, the dining room.
photographs. Oh, have I been an idiot that much? I'm a dodo bird. I always say this, I'm a dodo bird. So they were talking about the flashes. If it's lightning and thunder, lightning and thunder, then a flash powder. Would that qualify as a lightning storm? Or a thunderstorm? Somebody's got either a cuckoo clock or a really an actual cuckoo bird. So this one needs the flash powder then, which is in here. So I need the flash bottle. That's an empty flash bottle powder, okay. So I need <clears throat> so I need a full flash powder is that what you're saying and I don't have one okay so that's the flashes <clears throat> there's an empty one Fill the container with flash powder, close the container, press the button connected to the camera, and only flash that went to bright flash. So where is there a full flash powder? Did we see any? <clears throat> Apparently we did not. Wait, flash powder. Um, Made in Bath by Pilar Sons. Potassium and magnesium, two to one ratio. Well then, so two potassium to one magnesium. Two potassium, two potassium. To one magnesium. go. Aha! I was a dodo bird all this time. So now we have this spiky weird plant. That's so cool. Ulex fulgaris. The fulgaria only grows during thunderstorms where the flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. Flash that mineral. Do I have to read the set the clues? Uh, I think I have to reset the clues. Q. Oh, wow. Wait, I'm already up here? I thought I was still here. Nope, nope, never mind. Okay. 
yummy. I still have my flask with me. <laughs> I know the farmer's gonna be mad because I scared his cows again. The orchard key, yay! Um, is that the only delivery? The key. Um, okay. So we got a key to the orchard. Let's go find out what's in the orchard. I might want to put this flask down somewhere though. Let me go put it back first. I'll be right back. Ooh, stereo. Peculiar petals. Love the trellis with those stereo. That's lovely. Oh, that's an owl. It's a wolf club. High on the mountaintop, so steep, grows a flower that's hard to keep. Petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistle as they try to find their way amidst the snow to reach the summit cheeks aglow. That's adorable. <coughs> guiding, their, guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. <coughs> okay. Oops, no, nope, wrong one. Dear niece, I have gathered a selection of my cherished toys and books, among them my beloved Piggy. I highly recommend the nursery rhymes. They are charming as well as educational. Though I'll, though I'll take no offense should they put your little one straight to sleep. With all my affections, Auntie Arabella. Okay, so we're sending some toys to a niece. That's cool. So those are the three that we've printed. So we have to find out where the... Aha, we're seeing this. The Pixie Tears. This flower is closely associated with orchards. I wonder why. <clears throat> I haven't filled in all the right clues for this patient. For this nursery rhyme. Notes on soil additives. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I have found the following amounts to work best with my different pots. Okay, so which is the one that we have? That's 97 grams. That's the one that we have. Anything else? There's apples all around. Dearest Arabella, how are you getting on in your garden? I hope it's not getting to be too much for you on your own these days. Our mutual friend mentioned you have been struggling to germinate the ash plume. Have you tried to make sure there is fresh compost in the pot? Stubborn seeds often need that to grow. I'll visit, oops. I'll visit you sometime and perhaps I can find a way to crack the seed for you. I can show you the book I've been working on at the same time. Yours sincerely, Charles Tucker Esquire. Okay, I think we already cracked the flash bloom, or the ash bloom. Ooh, what are these? Specimen, spring dance shrub. No. I guess we only get to look at, the, look at that one. Red campion. Foxglove. Primrose, Hyacinth, Pixie Tears, oh. Tincture of Iodine, Bluebell, Cradle Fern, Tincture of Iodine. Perfect for preparing microscope slides. Chloroplasts. In the world of plants, the sun is the ultimate source of energy. Chloroplasts, small organelles inside the cell of a plant, 
are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis. However, not all plants have chloroplasts. Some plants rely on organic matter for their energy and do not photosynthesize. They have lost their chlorophylls over time and have instead adapted to obtain their energy by absorbing sugars through their roots. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating these particular plants. Hmm. Okay. So, the primrose, red campion, foxglove, where I just saw it, hyacinth. I know I just saw it. Pixie Tears. Okay. Pixie Tears. All right. Okay. So they're talking about adding stuff to it, right? Um, let's explore some more. Oh, okay, that's cute. History of England, okay. This is gonna be a long book. Priest holes. Back in the Middle Ages, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, all Catholics were persecuted by law. Therefore, some households built secret rooms in case they needed to hide a priest that was visiting their family. Many of these so-called priest holes were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. Only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about the location. Because of this, it is thought that there may be many undiscovered priest holes throughout England to this day. Hmm. That is something new. Lady Arabella. Thank you for inviting me to Botany Manor last Monday. As a historian, I found it wonderful to see an authentic medieval manor, especially one as beautiful as yours. I apologize for not being able to locate the priest hole in your house, although I am convinced it exists. We will find it one day. It won't be easy. They tend to be hidden well and sometimes require elaborate mechanisms to be open. Kind regards, Professor Pennyworth. Lady Arabella, I have received your request for repairs to the roof of your garden tower. Alas, I must confess that I am not the man to undertake this task. It may have escaped your notice that the tower in your orchard is known to the locals as the Turbulent Tower. It is believed that a poltergeist dwells within its walls. Legend says that the spirit is evil and brings ferocious winds upon anyone who dares enter the tower. I don't want to provoke the wrath of this ghost, and I advise you to refrain from meddling with the tower. Willie the Builder. Um, Willie, you and I have to have a talk, son. What's that? So Willie is unwilling to be able to want to come and repair our tower. What is this? This is the tower? Oh, and an egg. It's like a wind broken and then a mirror. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't realize we were going up. Um, that's as far as we go. Oh, okay. That lets the wind in. Okay. That's for one. seeing anything. Um, just leave the windows open. A little bit more of the wind. I, I don't think there's a poltergeist in here, seriously. Maybe some rust? Some mold? There's another? There's still one more. Oh my god. Fourth floor. Ding ding. And there's a fifth one. Oh my god. So this one, because it likes to live up high, it may need this wind. Like this. Oh. 
Yeah, we're at the top. Okay. <clears throat> up to the fifth uh, tower, it should it should do well, right? Tower, oh, test one six. Wind speed of thirty five miles or knots on third floor. Wind speed of fifty knots on second floor. Wind speed of forty five on the. Somehow my anonymous broke. I hope there's an apolta ghost in the tower after all. Wind speed of 25 on the fifth floor. So 40. Oh, I see what they've got, although different windows open. But if I leave them all open. So 45 on the fourth floor, but she left the fifth floor open. Hmm. Forty-five, so fifty, but it says on the second floor. But she had the fifth window open, the third, second, and first window open. Interesting. The Mountaineer's Guide to Alpine Expedition. So wind speed. Be sure to wear the correct climbing gear. Correct gear when climbing. The winds in the Alps can be fierce and changeable. It's advised to wear thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots with good grip. Wind speed and pressure. So these are the wind speeds. But then the pressure in millibars. So the pressure must have something to do with it. So even though it's a lower wind speed, it had more pressure. Like this one's 1030 in pressure and that's the highest. But that was at 48. And she said 40. Didn't she say 40? Wind speed of 50, but wind speed of 45 on the fourth floor. So 45. That was 970. Wind pressure of, or wind speed of 50, 960. Forty-five, forty-five, twenty, forty, and twenty-five. But she didn't say anything about the pressure. So what am I to make of that? Oh, this is lovely. Um, why is the stairs broke? What the heck? There's a seat down there too. Why can't I jump? There's a seat down there I need. Is there an alternate way of getting in? Lady Arabella, as you can see, the staircase of the Orangey collapsed in your absence. I've already written to the builder in the hope that he wants to sort it out, though as you know, he can be difficult to pin down. I do apologize if this is getting in the way of your research. I don't suppose you could find another way into the bottom level. Yes, we're just going to have to. Pot notes. Microscope slides. Um, wind research, alpine lip. Hmm. Aha! This is where 
we were before. But whether it can get down there, I don't quite know. So we can go up, but we can't go over this and around. That would be interesting. <clears throat> so we're going to take our little pot. Let's look over here. Um, my little pot's over here. And I guess we get to experiment. So if we go up and we open the little closed windows, can we open both windows? speed of, so 35 on the third floor 50 oh, okay so that was the first floor was closed second and third floor were one fourth floor was open and fifth floor was half don't think I'm gonna remember that the so first floor was closed so, this is what I don't understand. Wind speed and pressure in the Alps by location. I guess I need to find out what, that's my problem. I don't, it, it gave me the name of the mountain range, didn't it? And I'm not looking at the right ones. I'm looking at all of them trying to figure it out, but this one gave me the name of the mountain range. And this is for the wolf glove. This is not for the one I'm doing. Oh my God, I'm so silly. So I'm, I'm in the middle of doing the pixie tears. And all of these are the wrong research. Um, way wrong research. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. This is the painting room. I guess that was the one that was broken. So. The um, the wolf, this one, the wolf gloves howl. The wolf glove. Yeah, see, it didn't say what summit though. That's a weird thing. Okay, so I am confused now because <laughs> I don't have the wolf glove. I have red campion, fox glove, primrose, hyacinth, shrub, pixie tears, bluebell, and cradle fern. So we're not even on. Tincture of iodine. So we're not even on. Wait, what was this again? So we're going to add a certain amount of sugar to soil when cultivating particular plants. I don't think I have sugar. So I'm going about this all wrong. I need to get this flower to bloom. We don't have the one that needs the. Um, this is for a different one. This is for the wolf's thing. But if I go back to the kitchen, is there sugar in there that I could put in this and then the pixie tears might bloom? It just takes me a minute or 30, 40, 50, 60. And then maybe this one will bloom. Okay, so let's put that there. Now, is there sugar anywhere around here? Sugar. Those are weights, so we may have to measure stuff. So there's a mysterious symbol, but 
Why is that candle there? That would burn that place down. So the weights haven't been used in quite some time. There's no sugar. But if I take that plant into the chem lab, sugar. No, sodium. Nope, it won't let me do that. Okay. Well, this is where we're going to have to end it, folks. Thank you so much for stopping by, for enjoying this relaxing slightly confusing and frustrating puzzle game, but I would like to play this again. Let me know if you like this and uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye now.